what's up it's dj today we've got 125 mods on the testing list farm sim has turned 16 years old but the ai still can't drive plus we've got 11 modders to talk about with 10 topics all under nine minutes let's check it out starting off with our mods and testing today we've got 103 mods on the list 97 are in stage one or pc testing and six are in stage two or console testing there are tons of mods on the pc list today but we do have a few notable ones like additional units i'm a missouri and carpathian countryside also on the PC list, we have Dredge Creek, Alaska, Grass Drying, Italian Rice 22, and Liftable Bales Pack. Rounding out the PC list, we have Lizard Pickup 1988 Custom, Mac Anthem, Micro Tractor Sprayer Pack, Reaper 2000 Harvester, Somerset, and Unimog Build-Up Tanks. Jumping down to console mods and testing, we have much less. Uh, but there's six of them. Uh, Feldberg, Klaus Roll at 520, and the Massey 8100 Pack. Rounding out that console list, we have Old Village Buildings Pack, Stole Super One, and tempered houses. With all that being said, we still have 120 mods that waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time newly submitted mods is about six work days. These numbers are much lower than we're used to seeing, and that's great news. 16 years ago yesterday, the first farming simulator game was released, FarmZim 2008. April 14th, 2008 was the beginning of everything that we now know in the world of Farming Simulator, and that's why we're all here in the first place. Funny enough, I remember seeing this game on the shelves of my local Walmart, and I really wanted to get it, but I just I didn't have 20 bucks to spend on it. Wonder what would have been different if I had started playing back then instead of in 2017. I guess we'll never know. Hey, what was your first farm sim game? Let me know in the comments. Jumping over to modern news, 82 Studio has submitted four mods for testing. Three of them are updates and one is a new mod. We've got updates for the TLX 3500, the 2022, and the 1982 Special, along with the new TLX Haulers Platform Pack. It's finished up and ready to go. This bed pack will turn your favorite TLX truck into a true workhorse with a fifth wheel tow truck and more. As always, these mods are for all platforms. However, with the waiting time on ModHub, it could be another week or more before we see them on the testing list. Next, Carl Farms dropped a bomb on Friday with the Case H 715 Steiger wheeled version. Using the new 715 Quadtrack model as its feature set, including hood, cabin, rear three point, stuff like that, they've created a wheeled version, which actually hasn't been announced by Case IH yet, at least at this time. So Carl Farms is using it as a prototype, at least for now. Could you imagine Farmsim getting something before real farmers? That is wild. It's going to be released as a separate mod from the 715 with tracks that we have now. It will have all the same options and the same wheeled configurations as Carl's AFS Steigers. However, the K9 Dozer Blade will not be compatible because the hood on the 715 is just too wide. It's chunky. Currently, the model is almost done, and they should have it submitted for testing sometime this week. Speaking of custom modding, they have submitted their John Deere 9R series for testing for all platforms. Finally, we've heard about this mod for what feels like forever now, and now it's in the hands of Giants QA. Can't wait to see it. Moving on, HR Forest have now submitted another mod to Giants for testing for all platforms, the Tatra Phoenix Double Cab. HR is actually calling it Frankenstein. The Tetra is one of my favorite semi-trucks in Farm Sim, and I'm excited to see a fully customizable version being made, especially by HR Force. The double cab's pretty much just two cabins mounted back to back with a cage built around them. They showed it off with a crane and a wood chipper mounted to the back as well as a spare wheel, but we're kind of hoping we see a version without all this stuff, just with a fifth wheel, though they didn't say anything about that. Just being hopeful here. It's also a custom legal ASW 271 trailer to match, as seen in these screenshots. Next, BC Bueller Farms drops more information about their Fiber Dash trailer, the Little Dash. It's now working, but there's a few things that still need to be fixed up with the mods themselves, like setting up fertilizer mixing and unloading capabilities, a simple pump with no mixing option, and of course, testing it all. BC Bueller is also looking to add a manure system version for PC, which it appears he was planning to do a PC only version after the crossplay version is released anyway, so that works out perfect. Yos, it's Yos modding. He is back with us and updating the liftable pallets and big beds mod. This will be the first update since summer of 2022. It's almost been two years. He's going to be adding new pallets and bags like the helm fertilizer that was recently uh, put in farm sim and fixing tree sampling pallets that allow tree type selection. He's curious to hear what else you would like to see added to the mod. You can let him know by commenting on his most recent post on Facebook. Next up, Ada Modding looks to be working on a roller, but not the type of roller that rolls your fields, though it could do that too, I don't know. 
This is a steamroller, road roller, compaction roller, pavement roller, whatever you want to call it. No specific chef, just a little teaser. And there's actually a Lego set of the exact thing if you want it. Uh, it's 10 bucks on Lego's website. Ada Monning is also updating the Massey Ferguson MF23 Cultivator, which just recently released version 1.1. Exploding decals, more colors, then clean up the i3D and XML. Additionally, the Massey Ferguson MF SD2 Plow will be updated to version 1.3, fix foliage bending, add more colors, and remove unneeded meshes for decals. And lastly, the Massey Ferguson Weight Pack is almost done, featuring two weights that work in combination with each other as separate or uh, uh, anything like that. One of them hooks up to the front, like on a trailer hitch, where there are no weights. Well, now there is one. The other one's just a big old weight. Yeah, these are going to be sent off for testing for all platforms soon. And they were actually part of the old Gen Massey pack back in Farm Sim 17. They're coming back piece by piece. It's no secret that Black Sheep modding creates some awesome buildings for their maps. And soon you'll be able to use them on whatever map you want. The Black Sheep Maps Buildings Pack. They say there will be over 60 placeable items and teased 56 of them, including animal barns, sheds, fences, and gates, gardens, trees, houses, and even productions. Recreate your favorite farm from Old Stream Farm on the Valley of the Old Farmer. Make something totally your own on any map. Sometimes it's hard to get excited about sheds, but you know what? Black Sheep Modding just knows how to make it happen. You guys remember last week when I said that Mappers Paradise and Celebuki were teaming up to bring the Monet Seeds Complex to Farm Sim 22? Yeah, that wasn't entirely true, and it's because I didn't know what was actually going on. They're bringing that and a whole new map to the game. So the complex, the house, and something very cool. A new John Deere dealer, Patents and Agriculture. This is a real business that's uh, based all over Saskatchewan and Manitoba, just north of Montana, North Dakota, and Minnesota here in the States. They're a John Deere dealer and will be featured on the new Monet Seeds map. That's so cool. And lastly today, Lancy Boy shared a few screenshots from the British map that he's working on right now. This is a fictional map going back to his old roots of mapping from when he first started. As mentioned last Friday, he says that the map will showcase what he's learned in Blender and with new animations. It will also feature new and unique builds and models. They also have new animals and will be, of course, for all platforms. We don't have a name yet, but stay tuned as I'll be announcing all information once it's revealed. And I'll be revealing an announcement, and it's, uh, well, it's this segue. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to everything we talked about today can be found in the description. You can check out the entire video in the form of a news article on farmsomenews.com. Thanks to Yos Monic. Remember, there are no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mods are going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, it simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on all of the top stories that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, that is it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, enjoyed the Go Ham Fam. Make sure that notification bell is on as well. That way you never miss any videos like this one. Hope you have an awesome Monday. And we will see you later. After a week of baby face go ham, I have finally started to grow my beard out since well, Saturday. Can't see it.